The New Britain Museum has a fabulous collection of American art. It was the oldest American art museum in the country. The teachers today are getting a chance to see how they can use and consider art of the period as a primary source document and use that in the classroom to help teach concepts that are sometimes very difficult to get across in just black and white text. Ashbrook is interested in doing all kinds of things that uh, study the American past in all its complexity, uh, the good parts, the bad parts, the things that are upsetting, as well as the things that are the triumphs. I think the use of art really aligns very nicely with what Ashbrook tries to do, which is to present a rounded, complex view of the American past and American history. The museum is really excited to be part of the program with Ashbrook and the Warner Foundation to introduce the primary sources of great American art into the dialogue and the ways in which art will reflect the developing identity of a national character, a national identity, and a sense of what it means to be an American. Having the opportunity to partner with the Warner Foundation to bring artwork into a lot of our programs it's very exciting and we're very, very grateful for that opportunity. If the Warner Foundation has the images, Ashbrook has the words. And bringing these two pieces together really do help tell America's story. A lot of my students don't have the opportunity to come to museums or events like this. And all that information, all that wealth of knowledge, I, I just hope that I can translate it into their language. I find this art aspect really fascinating and with my students now we always try to look at the pictures in the book and it's amazing how many of them say that no teacher has ever had them look at the pictures and I asked them why would they put pictures in a book if you're not supposed to look at them. I base a lot of my classroom work on utilizing primary sources with my students but I think as professionals we don't get a lot of opportunity to do it ourselves and it's very important for us to get into practice of talking with others, interpreting texts and seeing how we could apply it to our classrooms and to our own thinking. It's just been a great experience. I'm going to go much more in depth and I have much more perspective now knowing that there's just not one definition of an American identity and it's told in many different perspectives and many different opinions. I think today we're at a very critical point in our history where people are becoming more and more divided and art represents an opportunity and these, these seminars represent an opportunity for us to help teachers learn how to bring us together.